Want to know what tasks you can hire a VA to do in your business? This video is for you. What can foreign VAs actually do? This is a question I get all the time from business owners and clients of mine that are looking to expand their teams and grow their companies with foreign VAs. And the reality is that foreign VAs can pretty much do anything in your business that you want them to. You can hire VAs to do everything from marketing, which can be copywriting, can be video editing, uh, web development, and graphic design in general. You can hire a, a, a a virtual assistant to do accounting, to manage your books, to help you collect invoices, uh, to you know do collections with companies that are past due. You can hire a, a virtual assistant to be a salesperson or a customer representative. They can be calling clients. They can receive be receiving calls from clients. They can be doing follow-ups. They can be responding to emails. You can have a VA do administrative tasks in your business. They can be checking in on employees. They can be scheduling um, team meetings. They can be you know, uh, implementing HR policies. Whatever the tasks are in your business that you need done, there are VAs out there that can help you get that done. Now, there are some things you need to keep in mind when you're thinking about hiring foreign VAs. The first thing is that any VA is only ever going to be as good as your systems processes and SOPs. SOPs for those that you don't know are your standard operating procedures. Those of you that have been following me know I say this all the time and know how important these are. If you do not have any one of these three systems in place for your VAs, you're going to have a very difficult time being able to get uh, tasks delivered on time, tasks delivered uh, efficiently, and tasks delivered at high quality from your VAs. Now this isn't because they don't care. This isn't because that they don't understand necessarily. This isn't even because they are just lazy. This is just because the way foreign VAs are able to work, given their backgrounds, their different languages, and just their different societal um, environments that they're in, structure makes sure that they are always following your guidelines and delivering in the time frames that you expect them to. Setting expectations is the other big thing behind this. You need to make sure, again, why you have standard operating procedures, that things are done a certain way within your company. They're done within a certain time frame, and they're done to your level of expectations, your level of quality that you expect. All of these things, systems, processes, and SOPs are gonna make sure that your VAs are gonna be able to deliver for you the way that you need them to. So do yourself a favor, if you're struggling with VAs right now, or you haven't even started looking into hiring VAs, start getting these three things in place in preparation for hiring, or get these things in place for your existing VAs, and watch how your relationship with hiring VAs and managing these VAs just goes through the roof. The second thing that you guys need to know is that you cannot hire one VA to do it all. That doesn't work with standard employees and that doesn't work with foreign VAs either. You're going to need to think about the benefit of hiring foreign VAs at a lower cost means now you can start to look at hiring maybe two, three, maybe even four VAs for the price of one employee in your home country, depending on where you're hiring or where you're based in. I'm glad you're enjoying the video. If you need help with hiring, training, or managing your VAs, make sure you click the link in the description below to check out our free VA hiring workshop. If you need one-on-one -on -one help with me, click the link to schedule an appointment to see how I can help. And so what does this mean? Well, for example, one mistake I see a lot of people and business owners make is they'll hire one VA to do all of their marketing. And I'm sorry, but you cannot have one person be an expert at email marketing, at social media post creation, at video editing, at music trends on Instagram and TikTok, at web development. There's just no way. You can find certain outliers of VAs that have some skills in all of those general areas. So for example, if you're a brand new business, you're just getting started and you just need someone to help facilitate some basic tasks, that can you know, be a good solution for you. 
But as your business grows and your tasks get more needy and they get more involved and more technical, you're going to want to think about hiring in terms of teams. So if you're thinking of hiring a marketing person and you are in a position to where you can afford it and facilitate it, I would urge you to think about hiring a marketing team. Hire your copywriter, hire your web designer, hire your graphic designer, your video editor, etc. right? Hire your team for the same price that you would pay probably in your home country if you're from the US like I am or somewhere in Europe, you're going to pay the same price for three or four VAs as you would one person you know, in your country. Sometimes way less. Sometimes even a team of five, six, or seven VAs is less than someone who is technically considered experienced in a modernized, westernized country. You guys got to think in terms of teams, not individuals. The last thing that you guys want to really think about is hiring in terms of tasks and skill sets. So again, a lot of people think, I need marketing. Let me go hire a marketer. The way you want to change this thinking to emulate and be better suited for hiring foreign VAs is to think about hiring, hey, I need this task done and this is a skill set I need to get this task done. Okay. And so what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to bundle tasks together for a certain goal, for a certain accomplishment in your business to get something done. And it's not going to diversify the mindset or the um, awareness of your VA to many different things. So think about if you have a web developer who's very analytically minded and you want them to edit a video, which is very creative minded for them to transition from being a web developer to a video editor not only do they have to change systems completely which is going to take time they're going to need to recalibrate their brain to go from a analytical mode to a creative mode that is extremely difficult for most people to do think about yourself as a business owner it is very difficult for you to switch between tasks most of the time wouldn't you agree so think about your VAs and hiring instead of, hey, I need marketing, let me go hire a marketer, to, hey, what is the specific task I need done? Okay, I wanna put videos up on Instagram. So I need a video editor to edit the videos that I'm going to be recording. Well, you also need some post copy to go along with that video. Uh, you probably need some hashtags. So now you also probably need a copywriter, okay? Now your copywriter can definitely do copy and the posting because they're generally related, but you would not have your video editor or your web developer also doing the copy um, and you would not have the copy person editing videos. Again, maybe if you're doing it this at a much higher general level, that can be possible. But when you're really starting to get a marketing strategy, a specific marketing strategy or other strategy in your business implemented, for example, let's say accounting, you're going to really want someone who is an expert in the task that you have for them to do. And so guys, when it comes to hiring foreign VAs, they really can do almost anything in your business. They can do the very high level stuff. They can have access to your bank accounts. Generally, they're very trustworthy. Now you should always make sure that you're vetting and giving time to build a relationship with your VA so you know you can trust them, especially if you need someone to do accounting tasks or financial tasks or customer facing tasks where they're going to be representing your business or they're going to be doing high risk processes to your business like dealing with finances. You're going to want to make sure you vet them and that you give a uh, processes in place to make sure that your company is safeguarded as much as it can be and that they cannot just run away with certain aspects of your business. However, most VAs are extremely trustworthy. Most VAs are going to appreciate the opportunity of working with your company more and having a stable income than they will being able to scrape off, you know, whatever money they can one time and get away with it. You should always do your due diligence. I'm not telling you to overlook things. I'm not telling you to just disregard safety and security for your business. But when it comes to hiring foreign VAs, you can rest assured that you can go out and find a quality VA who's going to be reliable, who's going to deliver efficiently, and who's going to be cost effective for your business. 
and they're going to be able to help you get stuff done if you approach it from the right degree. So the question really is not what can VAs do, but it's what can you allow your VAs to do in your business. Hey everyone, that's the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and leave the like button to let me know that you got value from the video, as well as go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, so that way you can be tuned in when I create more videos in the future. Also, go ahead and check out the description if you want to find out more information about working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I do provide consulting and coaching services uh, for hiring VA teams, uh, for marketing teams, and sales teams to help your business get consistent growth so you can live a life of abundance.